Summer is heavy. heavy. Thank you. first question. Um, oh look, we create a lot of opportunities. I think we went in with the right plan. We just went clinical enough. Uh, you know, if we turned a couple of those opportunities early on in the game, you know, we, um, we, we start applying pressure and scoreboard pressure to them. So, um, yeah, I look disappointing because, you know, at this level you've, you've got to take your chances and, and we left a lot out there. Yeah, oh, well, it was significant because they got seven points out of it. Um, gave them a bit of a, I guess, a break, and um, you know, uh, probably gave them a bit of belief. But you know, we got our, got back in the contest and had plenty of time to to nail it. But um, yeah, you got to give credit to their defence. They um, they barred up and um, you know created enough turnovers to to keep us at bay. Dave, it seemed like you went in with the game plan to use the ball a lot, um, decided a lot as well, at times it worked, at times it didn't. Too much rugby played or just not clinical enough? No, no, I think, um, you know what we know with England, they'll, um, you kick them a lot of ball and they've got Stuart at the back who kicks it longer. Um, so, you know, we wanted to move the ball and kick from wider channels, uh, but we found a lot of space there and carried on attacking. Um, yeah, we just needed to turn some of those, um, I guess, that field position and possession um, into more points, you know. So, yeah, disappointing because we, um, yeah, we gave up some soft points. Obviously, Marcus Smith try, and yeah, we had possession with about 30 seconds left and a half, and turned it over, and uh, you know, we ended up scoring off that as well. So, uh, big, big moments in the game, but you know, we got we got to look at ourselves. We um, we had plenty of plenty of chances, and um, you know, so it uh, hurts. Probably don't want to use it as an excuse, but how influential were your injuries and Darcy's suspension? You had a lot of players. Correct. We uh, we don't want to use it as an excuse. Um, oh, we had a good enough side on the field to win tonight. Um, now, what a highlights is we're creating really good depth, and I think. A lot of guys who got an opportunity really stood up. You know, you look at a guy like Nick Frost tonight. So, um, yeah, oh, you got to, you just got to find a way, don't you? And you know, injuries are part of the game. And, and um, you know, I think we did enough tonight. But you've got to be clinical and take opportunities. Michael, what's the feeling like? Uh, yeah, it's pretty... Oh, it's, it's a silent change room at the moment. We just got back in there. Um, we're, we're gutted, you know. Um, it was a deciding, deciding match at a stadium that probably won't see rugby again for a while. Um, you know, we uh, had every intention to win. So, yeah, gutted. How does this feel different, Michael, to 2016? As a decider? Um, different team? I, I don't know. Like a, a Tough to process right at this point. You didn't, um, the two, two of the backs, I think they come from about 68 minutes or so and, and Sully only with two or three minutes. Is that the Wallabies, like the back line, were creating opportunities and thought those guys could actually do it? Or what was the game plan around that? Yeah, I mean, we're constantly, you know, we've got guys who are up in the box with us watching individuals, seeing how they're going and if they've got plenty in them. And, and so we make those decisions based on how we think they're travelling. So, um, you know, Hunter, Hunter was going pretty well, and so we left him out there a little bit longer. Um, yeah, and, and I guess it's a mix of, you know, Tom, Tom's been excellent. Uh, Marika, you try, when you're trying to steal a game in the last five minutes, you're, you're relying on guys who've done it for you in the past. And um, So, yeah, you know, um, yeah, there's no doubt every game you query whether you got a guy on early enough or you left someone out too long. So... Um, yeah, who knows? In the overall evolution of this Wallabies team, where they're at at the moment, um, how much does that stem? Yeah, I'll look. Um, yeah, I'll look. 
as I've mentioned, we're disappointed because I reckon we're better than than the result tonight and better than the result last week. We've, um, you know, last week was a slow start. We fought our way back into the contest and probably should have finished over the top. Um, you know, we started better this week. We we um, got behind again and and then had enough ball and territory possession to to you know, to win that. So. Yeah, oh, that's that's where we're at. We've got to be better. We've got a lot of footy. We're three weeks three weeks into our season, and um, so we've uh, yeah we've got a few things that we need to sort out and tidy up heading into Argentina. Murray obviously has some of his theories and all the big games tonight. Is he going to be available for Argentina in the rugby championship? Yeah. You're talking to me. Yeah. Yep. Unless you've heard something. You've spoken to Emma. Hey Dave, Bill um, Skinge and Courtney Moore spoke after the game about you know being motivated by some comments in the media that some of the Australian players were talking smack. How does that sit with you that that is a motivating factor for a team that brought that up post that series? Ah, yeah. you know, geez, if we um, we tuned out every little comment that's made that say that that's a motivating factor, I wouldn't say there's smack if you if you read the the comments made. Um, yeah, oh, look, it's just a bit of by-play post, post the uh, result, I reckon. Michael, you threw a lot at England in that last 10, and at one stage 20 phases. What was it like against that defence? Were you surprised at their resilience? I thought there was some space that we, you know, we could get one or two more phases going. We're probably cutting them up. Um, yeah, they had some good defence there. Um, they were able to get some pretty pivotal turnovers. Um, but I think you know we, we were able to find space on the edge there a couple of times, um, but we just needed to get it one or two more phases. Um, yeah, it wasn't quite as flowy as we'd like. In terms of injuries, who do you think will won't be available and maybe throughout the championship? You got Clay Cooper, who's in the <coughs> Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, we think he'll be back. We're hoping Scotty C will be back. Um, Joy Pate will be back. Darcy Swain back from suspension. Um, yeah, I know we have um, a question mark around Angus Bell um, after tonight. We'll, uh, we'll assess that. No, some of those are the long term Tom Banks, Izzy Parisi, Caden Neville. Um, yeah, I can't think of anyone else, but they're, they're going to be long term. Oh look, look, potentially, but we're not going to we're not going to sulk about that and and dwell on it for well, maybe on the next couple of days when I've got to go back and review all that sort of stuff. But I mean, we'll we'll look forward. Um, yeah, it's an opportunity lost. Um, we've got to be better, and um, you know, the plan is that we will be against Argentina. Um. Well, I think the killer instinct was really, it's really around being clinical and accurate. Um, you know, there's quite a lot of space around the edge of the rucks, let's say back inside. Uh, that's probably where we missed opportunities late in the game because we're uh, constantly going a lot of same way and trying to get outside and um, they're going lateral. And we did talk about that. Um, so that's a place where we think we could have hurt them. But, um, so, yeah, oh, look, we, we certainly would talk a lot, a lot about growth and our game awareness and our ability to put the foot on the throat. So, um, yeah, no, we've got to be better. And what about you, Michael? It seems like the more competitive series in the uh, England has been pretty good on the edge of those rucks. Has there, has there been growth in this series? What have we seen? Yeah, I mean, the first game, obviously, obviously the resilience. Second game, we showed again more resilience. And then, you know, we started talking about Starting better, we did that tonight. Um, I mean, Dave's talked about just being clinical in those in those situations. We want to um, beat a team that can can grind out a win. You know, they they get down your end, they take points, pick up some scraps there, get more points, um, and then pushes you out to a point where hey, we need to start looking to line, 
um, trying to get a more try or something like that. We can't just go um, three six nine on them. Um, so you know their their ability to stack points on us was um, you know credit to them across the series um, and just keep applying that pressure with their kick game. Um, you know, so England did really well there. Um, you know, they had injuries too, so um, they they grind, grinded out a, a series win. Um, in terms of our learnings, yeah, there's there's a heap for us. Um, you know, I mean, we've we've blooded some new players. That's 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 a great thing. Um, first and foremost, with injury comes opportunity. Um, and then you know we're we're hurting last week. Now we're going to be hurting even more. So it's going to be a long sort of three weeks till we play again. He's been coaching there for a couple of years now, so I mean, it's much different. Anything else? Abby? Thanks, guys. Cheers, guys. Have travels home to the UK, guys, next year. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>